Well, let's get installing. Uh, you know, you know what I absolutely love about carbon fiber. <laughs> I was gonna make it like a skit, but honestly, like, I can't. <laughs> Hey guys, Nate from Norco987. As of yesterday, we had a little surprise waiting for you guys, and well, here it is. Let's unpack it and see what we got. I mean, of course, it's our new mods, but. Got a few more parts in here, like we discussed. I think it's giant. Here's this splitter guard. So this oh, would be man. Uh, go on the car like this. Oh my god. And then obviously for the opposite side. Man, these are just gorgeous. Don't step back. I won't, I won't. Yeah. We're good. I get nervous. Look at the quality of that weave. This is art. That's what this is. This is it's just pure beautiful. art. We're now going to replace our splitter for the car. This is off the passenger side, just to give you guys an example. There's a plastic retainer clip that goes up here. This one's a plastic rivet, and this one's a plastic rivet. Unfortunately, you will not be able to reuse either of these. But if you are careful enough with the plastic piece that we've shown in many of our videos, highly recommend these. You will be able to carefully take this retainer clip off and you might be able to reuse it. AutoZone has this beautiful assorted pack of panel retainers and this will fix or go back into both of the little holes and just in case you do break the big one, there's a big one in here too. We're now on the driver's side of the car. Since we took the passenger side off, I'll show you guys the rivets and the plastic retainer that's still on the driver's side. There's one right here. down over here. So that's going to be your two plastic rivets and then if we come all the way down this piece down here, that's your plastic retainer clip, which you might be able to use the tool to carefully take out. As you can see, it just clips right out there. So I recommend getting a little bit loose because it will be easier to pull these rivets out. were taken off before because that one did not have the plastic rivet. I'll show you the difference on the other side. So this is the plastic rivet that was on the other side. You can see the pole for it there. But I think this has been taken off before and somebody just used a regular retaining clip. So that made it pretty nice. But this one here looks like it is has been riveted, so this one's gonna be the real challenge. Somebody cracked that one already. Luckily it's underneath though, you can't see it. Probably me, I probably cracked that thing or something. That one came real easy. Yeah, well I 
<laughs> learned the first time I did how to do it. <laughs> So with this splitter piece here, uh, this is going to be our replacement, it's our carbon fiber piece. There's these little clips on here. And that is because the splitter pieces themselves essentially friction clip onto the car. The uh, rivets that first came with the car and the plastic retaining clips that we're just going to put, you know, instead of having rivets because rivets suck. That's just to keep the splitter from, you know, coming off at 70 miles an hour. The thing really clips on by itself. So let's get it clipped on and see how it looks. So it literally just snaps in. I recommend doing this side first over here. I can pull it out for you, but it, it's pretty self-explanatory. But you'll have to kind of bang it in. Don't be afraid. See, I even went in a little bit more there. That's good. You want, you want to cinch up. See how it's popped out over here a little bit. You want to cinch that up too. See how it popped right in. You want to go around and just give it a light tap. I mean, you don't need to sit there with a hammer. Just give it a good, a good working. We'll take this retaining clip, we'll go up and up into here again. Here's our hole there. We'll put the retaining clip in there. Snaps on there really nice, real nice and easy. And we'll do it to the other side over here too. For all intents and purposes, it's a pretty easy job if you're not afraid to peel things off. See how it slipped right in there, it was real nice. Mm -hmm. And that last one might be a little bit tight. So always have a mallet on you when you're working with plastic pieces. Give it a couple hits. You don't have to smack it too hard. Yeah, it's, it's in there good, nice and tight. Boom, job done. That is beautiful. <laughs>